If you think when you look at an employer, there but for the grace of God go I. And the only difference is, he was lucky. If you're a soloist who couldn't stand being just one of the team, should your idea be to prove yourself by challenging the boss? <laughs> Don't work for a Scorpio. He knows why he's boss. He has drive, force, builds a strong organization. And if challenged, will simply take you apart and feed the pieces to the unemployment agency. All he asks of you is everything, which is exactly what he is prepared to give. He wants to make it, and nothing would please him more than to see you make it too. Give him loyalty and faith, and he'll give you strength. Obstacles were made so he could remove them. You'll never know 10% of what he's thinking, but the opposition will know even less. That's why you'll be working for a winner. If you're the kind of employer who likes to play Big Daddy and considers employees as your family and your children, if in fact you have a sort of patronizing air when relating to your staff, should you require applause instead of cooperation and hard work, don't hire a Scorpio. This is an individualist and wants to be treated as such. He'll add an element of control to any situation because his self-control is Olympian. He won't be your buddy-buddy and you won't call him son, but he'll give you an all-out effort for every dollar you pay him. This is a silent type and he won't waste time in light patter while on the job. He seeks power. He desires self-improvement on every level. When the situation calls for someone who won't back down no matter what the odds, you'll be glad a scorpion is with you. Above all, he wants to be on the winning side. <laughs>